We're going to do the sample calculation on calculating the torque transmitted by a clutch. Now a handy way for remembering the formula is torque transmitted by a clutch is equal to S for the number of surfaces multiplied by P for the pressure plate force multiplied by mu for the coefficient of friction multiplied by R for the mean effective radius of the clutch. And all you have to do is get your uh, the figures that you're given in the question and throw them into that formula. Now you might find it handy to just scribble them down somewhere. So just say T is equal to, and that's what you're being asked, so you don't know that. S is the number of surfaces. P is the pressure plate force. Mu is the coefficient of friction. And R is the mean effective radius. So let's read the question. And as you're given the stuff, just stick it in. Calculate the torque transmitted by a single plate dry clutch. So we've already got that in. Torque transmitted is equal to a question mark. We know exactly what we're looking for. So it's a single plate dry clutch. So a single plate has two surfaces. One between the flywheel and the front of the clutch. The second surface is between the back of the clutch and the pressure plate. So that becomes a two. Okay. Um, with a clamping force of 1.3 kilonewtons, so that's 1.3 kN. Now we know we can't use 1.3 kilonewtons because the base derived unit for force is the newton, not kilonewton. So that becomes 1,300 newtons. Next part is okay. A coefficient of friction of 0 0.29, so 0 0.29, and a mean effective radius of 200 millimeters, 200 zero, zero millimeters. Now again, we know we can't use 200 millimeters, so we have to bring that to meters, and we do that by dividing by a thousand. We move the decimal place three, three uh, places, one, two, three. So the correcting for the mean effective radius is 0 0.2 of a meter. Now it's just a matter of firing all those figures into the equation and letting our calculator worry about it. So torque transmitted is equal to S, which is 2, multiplied by P, which is 1,300. Remember, we can't use kilonewtons, we have to use newtons. So 1,300. Multiply by mu is 0 0.29, we're given that. And multiply by R, which is the mean effective radius. We were given 200 millimeters, we know we can't use that, it's 0 0.2. Multiply by 0 0.2. Now, just let the calculator worry about all those oddball figures. Just put them in. 2 multiplied by 1300, multiplied by 0 0.29, multiplied by 0 0.2. So when we do that there, we get an answer of 150.8. Now, what units of measurement? Well, that's just a number, no units of measurement. But this is newtons of force. That's just a number, it's just a ratio between two different numbers. And this is a distance. So that's newtons, that meters. That means our answer is in newton meters. There's your answer. That's it. Job done.